I discovered languages first through my eldest brother, Charlie. He was using this website called Duolingo. So I went onto it, had a look at it. And so I was doing the Spanish just to help me in school. And then I found the other languages on it, German, Italian, I found first. And then later on, a few Scandinavian languages, a bit of Dutch. I, just got, I got really into it. I've used other websites to learn languages as well, like Memrise. It's like a flashcard system, it's very good as well. And I use a travel website called Lonely Planet for uh, learning phrases and things like that. You know, things you might use if you went to the country. But I find speaking to people is the best way to do it. So that, that is my main way of learning languages. It's a bit like in sport, you know, there's no better uh, practice really than actually playing, like actually getting game time or experience, you know, with someone from the country, you know, you get a better ear for it. Alex has done junior study examinations in three modern foreign languages. Um, Italian and German and Spanish. That's two more than his counterparts. Um, he has learned uh, other languages like Danish and Arabic and Tagalog and Ukrainian and Latin. He's so motivated that um, this drives him. It's also been a gateway for forming new friendships. We have quite a lot of international students here. He's very much part of our international student body. Ich meine Bruder und meine Familie haben es nicht gemacht, das war neu, ich meine Familie, also ich wollte etwas anderes machen. Es ist so wie ich bin Italiener in einem Restaurant. Sì, la pasta, la pizza. Qual è il tuo cibo italiano preferito? Va bene, grazie mille. Grazie a te. Ciao. Come sta qua? Oh, va bene, come sta? Va bene, ti salamat. Non ho mai cagato in questo momento. 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 School has been excellent with that, especially my uh, the language support teacher in my school, Miss English, because uh, she organises these events and things for us to come together. We've been on trips to places like um, Europe House, you know, the European Commission in, uh, in Ireland, in Dublin. We went to Family House once, and then we had this language day every year. And I represent Malta, which I really, really enjoy doing that. It's, it's a proud feeling. I have a fairly multicultural family, and my grandmother is Maltese. I speak to her in Maltese when she visits us. Jag har en kont för Malta, en Achana, en Adu för apartament i Jag. Winning the European Language Winner of the Year Award is really special. I'm really honoured. So many people to thank, uh, Miss English, the international students for all the help they gave me with this. You know, for being being my friends and my my family for all their time and the enthusiasm. And uh, I want to thank God for giving me the talents, helping me to use my talents.